Hey, it's Clay Turner, and this will be a video chart on ASFX, American Scientific Resources Incorporated. I uh, did, did this one a few times this week on the daily chart just because um, quite clearly there's been a you know gigantic move this week, uh, not to mention the previous two weeks, uh, which you can see um, right here. Clearly, we're uh, very nice, too. So um, one of those things where this chart's... Uh, been making very nice gains kind of quietly this week uh, I think it got on more people's radars but I know um, during these two weeks down here I don't think as many people uh, were aware of it but uh, you know this move here no doubt set off plenty of people's radars so um, but but judging by the uh, number of questions and questions and requests I've gotten on it uh, it sounds like quite a few people are playing this for a long-term type thing so maybe there's some sort of a fundamental story that are driving people towards it, you know, I, I'll be the first to admit I have no idea what's going on with the story. I just use the charts, um, but whatever's going on with the story is clearly good um, for the past three weeks, as can be seen. Um, so from the weekly, um, the first thing that I want to start off and point out is this down here, the volume. Uh, you can see that we had increasing volume and the most volume it's had in you know quite a while when you look down here. Uh, so that's the first positive thing. In order to be able to sustain these types of gains, uh, you know, volume is going to need to stay heavy. What you don't want to see is have it drop down to something like it was over here. That's not going to be able to, um, you know, be able to hold up with these gains. But if you can stay halfway, um, you know, decent. So, you know, probably around 700 million to 800 million um, next week would, you know, give this one a good chance of being able to hold up here. Um, if it does pull back a little bit, not a problem. Uh, that's part of, uh, you know, the nature of the stock market. Uh, things pull back, people want to take profits, uh, and as long as certain support levels hold strong, then there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, so on that note, let's just um, dig in and find some of these support levels. Uh, it's just been, I have to pull back and uh, pull back and, you know, go back way in a time in order to even find these support levels. Um, but the first one I see now, what I'm really doing is looking for where are these past resistance levels, and I see that this one uh, I didn't draw that too accurate. Let me bring that down a little bit. Uh, but this level right here, as you can see, was a previous uh, resistance. Uh, this level is valued at 0.04, so at four cents. Let me change this um, to green. Going into this week, it looked like this. It would have been red for resistance, but as soon as uh, this broke hat or this um, when it broke above this and closed um, this automatically became support that's just basic technical analysis 101 one of the first things you learn is when resistances are broken they become supports so there we go and 0.04 is uh, our first support level the next support level is if I drag this back is going to be right around this area and what I'm doing is looking for areas of price conjunct price congestion excuse me so what I mean by that is if you look right around this area you can see that we had a low there, a low, you know, a low that was a little bit less. You know, this one was up here, but you get the point. There's a bunch of areas where the lows were right around this area down here. So that's why I'm choosing that as a previous um, resistance area. So looking at that, and I'm going to place that line right there and drag it all the way across. And then we'll get the value. As you can see, I had to go back quite a bit of ways in time. But this area right around here we had a low here at five five so five cents is going to be our next um, area of support now this one is what I'll call the ideal support meaning you know best case scenario this holds up you know the price maybe pulls back here and then it just bounces back and forth before hopefully heading back up uh, that would be best case uh, this one down here is kind of a secondary best case uh, but the one that really is important and the one that really does need to hold is going to be down here at the three cent mark as you can see it was a previous uh, resistance there and also acted um, as a little thing of resistance right there this is the one that needs to hold and what I mean by that is if you think about things if this move is true that occurred this week and there's there's genuine true strength behind it you know, the first thing that probably shouldn't even really happen is, you know, three cents probably shouldn't be tested at all if this is a truly strong move. But if it is, it needs to hold. I mean, think about it. If people are willing to buy all the way up here, 
people should find this area down here an absolute bargain. So if the price comes down here and then all of a sudden, you know, crashes through it, that's not really a, a, a good sign of thing. That's showing that people aren't willing to buy and, you know, that's, that's where a big red flag comes in from a charting perspective. Now, will that happen? I have no idea and uh, please don't take things the wrong way. That's not what I'm saying because obviously the price closed way up here. So, um, but that's why I'm calling this the must hold resistance because if the price does fall down there, you know, and if this is true strength, then people would be dying to get these sorts of prices again. Now on the other side of the equation, let's look and find some uh, resistance levels. The one right now is eight. If you look right here, it was a previous high and surprise, surprise, that's what knocked it down uh, at this point. So eight cents right now is gonna be the key resistance. And then after that, uh, quite a big gap up here. You don't have another resistance until you have these three highs that were way over here. And um, these prices are um, at 11 cents. So after eight cents, you don't have another resistance till up here at 11. So that could be a, a, a big move, but I don't wanna get ahead of ourselves. Let's just first concentrate on hopefully holding these support levels and getting above eight. And then we can get things updated um, from there. So if you do have any other questions on the chart, um, please send me a message. On another note, I'd encourage you, if you have not already, to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the email, you'll be sent a free ebook, which has been getting really good reviews. And um, with with your subscription, you'll get um, coverage on things from you know big boards all the way down to penny stocks, uh, chart setups, trade ideas, uh, all sorts of things, um, you know, educational things. So. It's one of those situations where you can learn and profit at the same time, but it doesn't cost you anything. So it's worth at least trying out and uh, seeing if you like it. So head over to bullmarketnewsletter.net bullmarket and sign up for that. If you have any other questions on ASFX, uh, please send me a message. If not, have a great weekend.